going on, YouTube family? Listen, I know that many of you are probably a part of a number of different forest groups or communities online, right? And you're probably on YouTube subscribed to dozens of YouTube channels. My question is this. Are you still losing in the forest market? And have you tried the Soda Music Forest University? If you haven't, come on, follow me. All right, so as most of you should know, my name is Yusef Scott, and I am the guy behind the Southern Easy Forest University, also better known as the Forest Go to Line. In fact, if you're still looking for forest training, go and check out www.southerneasyforest.com. If you're still wondering why they consider me the Forest Goat, go check out theforestgoat.com. So just to tell you guys in all of my videos, I'm very grateful and thankful to have you guys here watching yet another video of mine. If you're watching this video, you're not yet subscribed to this channel, click on that subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure you also follow us on social media because we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. So like many of you, I know that you guys have watched my Eurozar analysis video that I put out just a week ago. And I know that a lot of you were looking at my analysis and looking at the chart and you're looking at my analysis and you're looking at the chart and you're trying to figure out, okay, what's really gonna happen? You know, should I be trading this market up? Should I be trading this market down? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys an update video to my last week's video and you know, give you guys a little further insight on what to expect about this market. So I want you guys to pay close attention to this. Now, one thing that I will say is that as most markets did at the beginning of the week, most markets gapped, okay? And um, as I explained to my students, I'm always watching and paying attention to what's going on around the world, but I, I don't trade the fundamentals, okay? I'm not one to trade on the fundamentals like I used to years ago, but at, at this point, I have enough wisdom um, and, and I have enough know-how to know and realize that events around the world, like we're going through the election, I mean, we have the pandemic going on, we'll, we'll be going through the inauguration real soon. With all of these things happening and then your ordinary life, and um, you can find that the market will be influenced. Now, if you guys know that it was last weekend, the, the latter part of last week, last weekend, that that's when the FDA, they start talking about the um, vaccine for the coronavirus. And it wasn't until the beginning of the week when Sunday, as Sunday is open, that most markets get, whether up or down. So if you guys look at the Euro czar, you will notice that although during the video from last week, I was telling you guys that yes, the market could, it, you know, it could extend itself up to the, um, to the lime green level and the market could push back where the market could break that level and continue going to our rising, um, our, our rising resistance level, okay? Now, I told you guys that last week. Now, I also told you that this market could, in fact, break back down, like I said, it could break back down to the COVID gap that took place in March of this year. Now, unfortunately, the market went back down, okay? At the open, the market opened, and then what the market did was the market stalled out that one day, closing as a doji candle, okay? Now, what I like to believe is this. Everything happens for a reason. I'm not surprised that although throughout the day the market was up, the market was down, the market actually closed out doji right there on the level. And see, I use that as a way for me to realize that's their way of showing you that you have a good level, all right? And that's why the market closed as it did. Now, following that doji candle, the market did continue to push down. And if you see on Thursday and even Friday's candle, the market broke through and continued beyond that COVID uh, support level, okay? So right now, the market closed for the week. It closed within the gap, all right? So what I like to believe is this, with the market closing within the gap, and if you guys wanna go check this out, if you, could look, if you go look at 
like the um, Cat Swiss, some of the some of the some pairs have been dancing around gaps for a long time. You go check out the Cat Swiss specifically, you'll see that the Cat Swiss is also in a gap zone and has been since the COVID pandemic. Even to this day, the market is still bouncing within that same zone. Now I'm telling you guys this only because the Euro czar is also within that same gap zone. So it's expected for the market to possibly bounce around, go up, go down off the resistance, off the support level of this gap zone. Now, since the market is going down, if you weren't already in the sale, you should not be in that sale right now. We know that with Thursday and Friday's candle both going down, there could be continuation next week, which could cause the market to run down to the bottom of the gap zone, the COVID gap zone. Now, if and when this market decides to drop down to the bottom white level or our support of this gap zone, the market could bounce and go back up to the top of this gap zone. Me personally, I would not trade that, but the market could in fact go up and then go back down to the bottom and go back up to the top. It could, or this market could actually break through the bottom of the gap zone and continue going down. And you see, this is why the perfect entry strategy and the standard trade strategy is so important. I'm telling you that I wouldn't trade this market if it dropped down to the bottom of the gap zone. I wouldn't trade it going back up to the top. It's way too risky. If I wasn't already in the trade, I would not trade this. Now there is a chance that the market could break through the bottom of the gap zone and continue going down. If it does, I would then expect for the market to possibly pull back to the gap zone respecting that level as a resistance level and perhaps possibly going back down even further. At that point, I would get in based on the perfect entry strategy. And I will reiterate, I would not be looking to get into this trade right now. However, if I was already in the trade, I would use SIT or the standard trade strategy to keep me in the trade or show me when it's time to get out. So hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, you all have looked at this chart and, and you know, you realize what the market is doing. Notice how I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm not, I'm not rushing anything because the market is only going to do what it's supposed to do in any given day. You can't force a market to do something that it's not going to do. All right. If you keep that in mind, I can, I can tell you it's going to make your trading a lot better. As I tell you guys in all my videos, have nothing short of a fantastic day. Remember, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay prayed up during these times. All right? Peace, everyone.